Hi there, this is Lucius LaFramboise from ENG Suite. Today we're going to learn how to redimension arrays. So, like always, we're going to start right in with the code, and then we'll talk about it in a little bit. So the first thing to do proper code, we're going to want to do, start with public function, and we'll call it redim test. Then we're going to pass in n as double. So what this function is doing is we're going to we're going to dimension out an array with n number of elements. So we'll do dim arr, and instead of dimensioning it directly with the n, we have to dimension it as an empty, as an empty array with those parentheses, and then we can redim with our n. Then, just for the sake of the test, we're just going to pass back 10. All right, let's take a look. So we do read in, test, and we're going to pass in a 7. Let's say we want an array that's 0 to 7 elements. We get a successful value. Awesome. That's how we redimension an array. But you might be asking, why do we have to do that? And that's where we're going to get into right now with our background section. We can't just dimension this array with an n the same way we did with the 7. We can dimension an array with any number, but not with a variable. Let me show you what happens if we do that. Here we are back in Excel, and we're going to run the same function, not even changing a, a letter. And we get compile error constant expression required. So what that means is we have to put a constant in here. We can't put a variable. So the fix is, like we've already seen, we dimension it as an empty array and then redimension it oops, with our variable that we want. Like before, we should be able to come in here and just like that. So there it is. A very, very simple step, but something that sadly requires two lines of code to do. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and please do something awesome.